first vlog without a camera and yet Hey you, my name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. But before we get into the weekly Wednesday vlog, I want to say hello and welcome to my newest patron. He's a colleague of mine, as in photographer and vlogger. I have never met him, but that is one coffee I'm definitely looking forward to. He does primarily concert photos, but a lot of other awesome stuff, so go and check him out. That officially gets me up to six patrons, whoop whoop, of whom three are active, but that's a story for another day. So I'm in between cameras and I didn't even borrow one for this vlog, which means I'm shooting on my phone. Now this is a phone that I got last week for the same price that I got the phone before that but it's four times better. Long story short, I'm experimenting with this camera, kind of putting my money where my mouth is when it comes to, you know, the best cameras, the one in your pocket and I'm going on lately about mobile photography and how it's gotten so good so it's time to put it to the test. This is the surprise surprise Xiaomi because you guys know I love that. It's the Mi A2 something like that. It's the uh, 464 version. I don't even know the specs. I think we should go look those up. So it's got a 20 megapixel camera and capable of shooting 4K. I don't think this is being shot in 4K, but we're gonna go and test that. And apparently the 1080p has some stabilization, but I'm obviously not using it right now either, so we're gonna test that as well, which is what this whole vlog is about, going out and testing this and seeing if it's vlog worthy. But even before that, I can tell you the answer is yes, because it's not so much about the quality, but if you're using your vlog to tell a story, and yes, you should be using your vlog to tell a story, which means this camera or any other camera you have with you right now is perfect. Anyway, enough blabber. I think we should go for that bike ride somewhere into the woods. So it's got all the functions. It's got full HD in 30p, full HD in 60p. It's got some sort of stabilization. It's even got 4K. But like on most phones, it's just that over sharpened, over saturated, over contrasty look, which to the eye of a photographer may look pretty awful. But again, it tells a story. Well, the front camera and microphone should probably be avoided at all times. And yeah, same goes for for low light. So that was a short, very unorthodox kind of camera review for this phone, but in general, the video for phones. Bottom line is, as usual, if you're telling a story, you can use any camera. It's enough to see my face, enough to see my eyes, what I'm talking about, the things I'm explaining. That's all you need and focus all that other attention and other investments that you have into how to make this story better. And the tech will take care of itself down the line. I guess. Thank you guys for popping by to watch my video as usual and I'm gonna see you guys next week. And I need my phone.